My name is Ben Ketchke with Atlanta Coast Dismantling. Uh, we're in the demolition business. Some of the things that we focus on is heavy mechanical dismantling and live plants and mechanical rooms on hospitals and high rises, um, primarily in cities um, that involve the dismantling of uh, equipment that needs to be replaced. But it's always in a, a precarious situation, a very difficult place to get out of a building. It needs to be uh, cut up and removed, typically up or down stairs, through an elevator, through occupied space, things like of that nature. But I started back in uh, 1995. I was 19 years old uh, as a laborer working for my, uh, for my in-laws. Um, they had a small demolition company doing primarily this type of work and um, boiler rooms and things like that, small gut out jobs, taking down small buildings and uh, started working for them just solely as a laborer and kind of worked my way up with them. Um, it was owned by three of my in-laws and uh, as time went on uh, I became part owner uh, and then in 2006 I sold out of that business and started my own uh, business in 2008. In between that time I worked for somebody else for just over a year doing more of the same type of work. Um, so we started the business in 2008 with me and uh, two other men that had been in the business for a long, long time. Um, and we started, our very first job was actually a, a chiller replacement job at uh, the old Kodak plant in Peabody, Mass. And uh, it's taken off from there. And so uh, now we're, we're uh, not only in the heavy mechanical demolition business, but we do a lot of uh, bridge demolition, buildings, power plants, and things of that nature. A lot of the work that we do um, in regards to the heavy mechanical work goes unseen by everybody. It's, they're in rooms that are either in the penthouses of buildings, on the roofs, or the bowels of the building that nobody ever sees. Um, for us, it's more of a sense of pride internally to do these jobs for people like Paul uh, at Northeastern Mechanical that um, have commitments to the building that they have to have the equipment out and the new equipment in by a certain deadline. Uh, so we take a lot of pride in helping them reach those goals with having little or no impact to the building and the occupants and things like that. And that's not easy to do given the type of work we're trying to do in the time frame that we're trying to do it. Um, but you know, we're, that, so that's really the, for us the biggest sense of pride is in what we can deliver to the people we're working for not what people see from the outside, you know. So any of these types of projects have a significant number of moving parts from the major details right down to the very small details, but they're all equally as important. And it's, it takes a team of people to do one of these projects and have it come out successfully. Each one of these entities have a whole number of things that they need to perform things they need to take care of in order for the job to go smoothly and properly. This job was uh, presented to us through Northeastern Mechanical um, and it was a very challenging project. It was really a major undertaking. Uh, if you consider it's on the 35th floor of a heavily occupied uh, office building in downtown Boston. Um, the, the, mechanical room presented with large steam driven chillers, um, tremendous amounts of piping and pumps and pads, a lot of heavy equipment that had to be removed in a very, very short time frame in order to allow Northeastern to bring in the new equipment and have it up and running within a certain time frame. So anytime that you have um, something that's on the 35th floor of a building, uh, that was put in when the building was built, you're gonna have a challenge to get these pieces down and out of the building. Um, the elevator was only rated for 4,500 pounds and uh, these, these chillers weighed in, in, in the 60,000 pound uh, range. Had to be cut up in pieces, which is uh, not an easy task. They have to be dismantled and, and taken out of the building. Um, all off shift so that we have no impact to the building. Um, you can't have smoke and noise and things like that distracting the tenants. Um, so we were given a very short time frame to have all of this equipment disconnected out of the building and gone so that Northeastern could come in and, and have the new chillers up and running. Uh, working with a company like Northeastern Mechanical and C.B. Richard Ellis, they were able to um, facilitate our work so that we could 
get the job done, at, in fact, ahead of schedule, ahead of what they had originally given us, which give, gives them more time to do what they need to do and deal with some of the unforeseen conditions and things like that. Um, these projects are not projects you can just assign to um, any labor foreman or crew of, of men and women uh, to accomplish these tasks. We've got a great team of people that have been with us for a long time, very, very hardworking, dedicated, loyal uh, workforce that um, digs in every day, gives it 110% to deliver to me, to deliver to Northeastern. They take the uh, job as serious as I do. And they're, they're a phenomenal group of people.